mini circular saw. Less than 20 euros, what, 19 euros 50. But before any of that, roll intro. Right, good morning. A bit of pecking to do today. Because you had a rest date yesterday. So, go on, off you pop. Bugger off. Huh, ah, go up there. <laughs> good morning. From the southwest of France. That's your aunt. De Patamont says. Um, yeah. You know, one of those days where you um, have nothing planned and then things change. Well, the fateful word that I said this morning, or the fateful sentence I, I said this morning to Lisa, do you want to go for a drive? <laughs> yeah, that ended up uh, with us spending money that we didn't think that we'd be spending, but we got some bargains. Anyway, what I'll do, so I'll show you the footage now of the shop that we all keep talking about is Action. And uh, we, we also went to Lidl as well, we bought some stuff there too, but we got, got loads of stuff, right, I'll show you. So, oh, we also went to uh, the Butt store, B-U-T, which is a, let's see if I can pronounce it, Mouble Furniture.
So, a table and two chairs for Lisa's veggie patch. Uh, that was 79 euro. Uh, I'll break from showing you the bargains to show you some uh, murderous uh, slugs. What's that? That was cucumber. Oh, it's eating the cucumber. Well, Lisa just said they're just going to feed the slug to the chickens. She's murderous. Anyway, let's carry on. Yeah, so two bags of 20 litre mud. <laughs> that was 189, 1 euro 89 each. Mini circular saw, less than 20 euros, what, 19 euros 50. I bought that. That was 17 euros, I think. I think that'll come in really useful for the summer with like iced water and some lemons and, orange and uh, oranges and stuff. Little milli electrical screwdriver. Again, about 19 euros. From Lidl, 17 euros. 17, one seven. To kill the weeds. Some lights to go under the, uh, the parasol. No idea, three euros. Let's just call it three. Right, six plant pots for the, uh, the land eye. Total 20 euro. That little table from Butt. Here you go. Oh. 10 euro. This rug for Evangeline's room. About oh, 16 euro. Magnetic door curtain to keep the flies out. This was from uh, Action. It was around about 4 euro. A clock for Evangeline's room. 2 euro. I'm making it up now. Huh? Massive phallic shaped chalk to, uh, I don't know, probably to ruin the side of the house. <laughs> that was about three euro, I think. Proper excited about all that. Mappy's a fat girl in the cake shop. <laughs> right, so I'm in the middle of a project. Um, right, I'll show you. So I want to mount my epaulets from when I was a constable, sergeant, inspector. Um, cat badge, and then uh, my medals from both the army and the police. This one wasn't mounted, so uh, yeah, I'll be doing that anyway. We're going to be taking those chairs over to the vegetable patch. You doing that again? Yeah, I know. You're doing a lot of pecking. So now we can have a, a cup of tea whilst doing a veggie patch update. Right, we're going to ignore the fact that one of the medals, because it's not mounted, just keeps slipping down. Be a story for the grandkids one day, won't it? Yeah, granddad couldn't hang things properly. Anyway, it's up now.
Good morning. Right, raining today, you might want to put your cagoules on. That's it. Good girls and boy. Good morning. Yeah, still the southwest of France and it's still raining. Anyway, <laughs> it's meant to be getting better next week, which is uh, just as well because we promised uh, all the kids that we move to a warmer part of the world. Um, yeah, we've got Megan, um, who's 22, Millie, who's 18, and Ollie, who's uh, Megan's boyfriend. Um, is he 22 yet? I don't know, maybe. And they're coming over. They're, they're spending from the Tuesday to the Saturday with us. So Sean's on his way. Um, we chatted yesterday, and he's coming to collect uh, his tools uh, out of the garage. And um, yeah, we've um, arranged loosely because we don't know when the weather is to go to uh, his place for a, for a barbecue and uh, he's going to come round to us for a barbecue as well. So yeah, so um, and then and then Colin starts Monday. So uh, yeah, oh. <laughs> Where are my uh, fourth favourite t-shirt? <laughs> Thanks Andy, I'm, I'm keeping that now. Anyway, we go do shopping. Stuff to do. Right, so Sean's gone. Uh, he's got his stuff. Um, we've inherited, gifted, this. It's a proper fancy towel cutter. Um, as a, as a, as an immigrant, an expat. Uh, there are certain stages that you know that you're integrating into the culture. Uh, one is actually getting a um, a carte de magasin, carte, carte fidelité. Uh, another one's this. Yeah, he's getting a um, an extension, an extension lead, because the majority of uh, power tools that you got, um, they've got French plugs on. Anyway, a sentence I never thought I'd be saying today was uh, the hens are being overmounted. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we need no, we need more hens because Arnie's just picking on a couple. Yeah, so uh, yeah, the easier, the easy option would be to uh, to pop out now and go and get ourselves a couple of hens. Um, we have to be careful around introducing new new hens. So. Uh, I'm gonna go and have a look at YouTube. That tells the truth, and uh, gonna take it from there. All right, so one YouTube video later. Expert at uh, introducing hens now. <laughs> right, so hens, new hens to a flock, can't uh, be introduced straight away. Uh, two weeks, I think. So. Um, Lisa's built them. Hey, and you can pass judgment on this. A holding cell. Out of stuff. <laughs> I'll show you. Right, so definitely nothing can get in to that and definitely nothing can, can escape. So it's, it's perfect. Um, yeah. They're going to love that holding cell, aren't they? Whilst they're... Uh, them lot are in there. Those are going to be in the. Uh... It's probably bigger than the case they're in now. Yeah, they're probably safer in the case that they're in now. Yeah, I will. Anyway, anyway. Right, let's go and show you how easy it is to buy chickens. <laughs> you slow mo. <laughs> You'll see. Bonjour. Bonjour. There we go. Du pool. Is this 
It's their holding cell. Hello, that's a bit bigger, isn't it? Right, move wow. back so the other chickens can come in. He's desperate to get in there. Look, they're floating with him. Right, so let's see how, how long they last. Anyway, just put a little Robbie from school, made my day actually. He said, Daddy, he goes, uh, there were some parts in school today when my friends were talking and I thought they were talking to me in English. He goes, and then I realised they weren't. They were talking in French, but he was understanding them like they were talking in his language, in his first language. That's the first, that, that's the first major step. Amazing. Anyway. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up, cross bugger all, uh, and a comment. If you know, love a comment, don't forget to subscribe. Leave one last thing left to say. It's not from me. It's not from her. It's not from Arnie. And it's not from them. Laters.